Sky King is getting a larger plane, increasing its runs to some destinations and adding another stop in time for the Christmas season. This according to Chief Operating Officer Brian Lightborn. In a one-on-one -on -one with Channel 4, Lightborn shared that there are many big plans in the works, including a Montego Bay run every Tuesday and Thursday beginning December 15th and daily service to the Bahamas. Come December 10th, we'll have on island a 46-seat ATR-42 airliner. Um, that will be here for at least 60 days, and that's dedicated exclusively for Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Jamaica. That will perform all of those flights for 60 days. Bahamas, Bahamas we have amended our schedule, and we're going to go seven days a week to Nassau with our 1900D. So, we'll, so we're con converting the Bahamas to daily service. Where? Sky King currently has four Beechcraft 1900 airliners, and the carrier performs about 1,050 runs a month. Lightburn says early bookings and requests have shored up the move for a larger aircraft and additional runs. Sky King also says they want to ensure they are ready for the heightened travel season during the holidays, especially to these destinations. It was just yesterday that Mr. Lightburn told us that prices are going up $10 round trip on international flights. Today, Today, Lightborn reveals that Sky King has to watch oil prices as market fluctuations will continue to be reflected in some ticket prices. Domestically, over the past few months, we've taken management steps to reduce our frequency. We've eliminated flights in the morning as well as in the afternoon, saving us approximately 60 flight hours per month. So we're going to take the benefits from that, from those savings in engines and fuel, and carry that over. As explained, better scheduling and routing of flights for domestic travel has worked to keep fares down for travel within the Turks and Caicos. Lightborn admits government subsidy has little to do with stable domestic rates at Sky King. Our government subsidy is in, is in relation to one specific market, and that's South Caicos. We haven't limited our service. We haven't reduced our service in South Caicos. Um, it helps our South Caicos service. But in the grander scheme of things, a vast majority of our flights and fleet hours are allocated elsewhere, Provo Grand Turk, as opposed to Provo South Caicos. As for reports on the oil market, there has been a small drop, but an OPEC summit meeting in Saudi Arabia revealed that despite pressure, they will not produce more oil. And this may cause the price per barrel to go up an additional $50 to $150 per barrel. For Channel 4 News, I'm DeAndre Hamilton.